thank you for joining us on this week's episode of Sportsman's Journal. This week we're going to be doing something that Tyler loves to do. Big copies. He's super excited for it. We're also going to be giving away a little bit of a technique that we use for Shh, very secretive big crappies. For big crappies. So make sure your DVR is set or you have your notepad out. That's right. And we've already kind of scouted a little bit. There's crappies everywhere. And we're going to be using the most important tool and that's Kramer Custom Rods. So we brought Eric along. We did. We thought we'd throw him in the boat. <laughs> Eric, what are we using today? We are using seven foot ultralight KCRs. It's pretty much all you need for yeah. chasing crappies. They're the all around, That's the what ultimate pan fish yep. rod, yep. for sure. Keeps fish pinned, cast further. Yep, for sure. Seven footers, man. It's gonna be awesome. Everybody stay tuned. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Coleman Insect Repellent. Down in the pocket. The, yeah, oh. he's down in there, guy. There I got him. Oh <laughs> my god. That, that is a big is one. A I better get the, get the net. Get the net for that one. Yeah. Holy cow. There we go. That is what we're talking about right there. Wow. <laughs> that is a big crappie. That is a monster. That's a Northwoods Magnum guy. <laughs> Oh wow, if I can get grab on him here, take a look. That right there might be a 14 incher, huh? Yeah, he's pretty nice. easily there 13, I think. Look at this. <laughs> wow. That's what we're going after today, folks. We're up here in the Northwoods, Wisconsin with Eric Kramer and my beautiful wife, Sarah. And we're gonna be using some of his new panfish rods he's making. I'm using a seven foot ultralight. And let me tell you, catching fish on that, phenomenal cast long you can cast really long cast yeah. precise cast you can keep your boat away from structure and you catch fish like that with them how about that for a starter fish guys that's amazing that's a, that's a dandy it's gonna right be there. a hard to beat the rest of the yeah. day love it let's put that big girl back beautiful we're gonna put her back got him ty you got another one bud <laughs> yeah. nice yeah doubles dubs that's a big fish that's not a bad one no not Nothing like what you had there, oh, but good crappie though. Yeah, nice fish. That's a good eater right there. Yeah. That other fish was definitely got to throw back. There we go. This little spot's holding some. Yeah. Seven foot ultralight with the wacky rig. Deadly. Deadly combo. Yeah. Nice. Put him back. Crappies are calling. Crappies are calling. <laughs> Got him? Got something. Oh, that's him. That's my That's a dandy. It. Nice crappie. Do we want the net? Nice work. That's a nice one. There we go. Nice job. I think I can get him. He is a nice one, though. He's hooked in the top lip. I think we're safe here. Safe with him, guy? Yeah, I got him. We'll drop the talon here. There we go. That's a nice little slab. Dandy. I think the slab bite is picking up. Yeah. He's definitely they're more active. He ate that like he meant business. Did he chase it out of there? Or? I couldn't see it. All I could Just see- Just disappeared? I, exactly, I could see my little Minnow there, and all at once it disappeared, so I set the hook. You got him dead to rights. Let me get out of your way. Here he comes. 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 Oh, my God. Eat it. You got it. You got it. Where is he? He's on this side. I can't see him. Oh, that's a nice one, too. That's a better one. Do you need the net? You want the net, guy? Go. Or do you want me to grab him for you? You want me to try and grab him? You can do it. Yeah, he's your fish. Okay. That's a good one. We saw that one. <laughs> a little sight fishing. A little sight fishing. I think he's top lipped. I think we're good here. We oh, are. Boy. I'm going to. Come here, buddy. Doing something pretty cool today. Something that Sarah and I came up with 
quite a year back for fishing really skinny water crappies. This is a nice fish. Yeah, and if you see what Eric's using there, that's just a, a two inch Berkeley power minnow, any type of minnow imitation will work. But what we're doing is we're rigging it wacky style with really small jig heads. And what that allows us to do, besides catch nice crappies like that, <laughs> it allows us to fish really skinny water. So it, it allows us, it allows that jig to sink really super, super, super slow. And if you look how I have that hook, it allows the jig to sink really super slow. Your presentation stays in that strike zone a lot longer because of the fact that it's horizontal. It sinks really slow. And we're using really small jig heads. You see this tactic a lot with, you know, large mouth bass, put this guy back. bass. Yeah, put that guy back, that's a dandy. With the wacky, you know, your wacky rig, sinkos, plastic worms, stuff like that. But you don't see a lot of guys doing it for panfish and it catches everything. But when you're sight fishing crappies and you need something that falls really super slow, this lure right here might be the best one you can use. And we actually, Sarah and I picked this up, picked that technique up. We started seeing crappies in Iowa coming up in logs and they were about two feet under the water sunning themselves. And every other, we had tube jigs and stuff like that sink way too fast. So we decided let's take a plastic, hook it sideways like a wacky rig and see what that does because it'll sink really slow. And sure enough, that came right down in front of them. You can dangle that for a couple seconds right in front of their snout. And that's just enough to make them mad and they come up and eat that thing. Yes. You got him? Yeah, that's a big one. Got that away. Thicker set of shoulders. But yeah, I'm coming with the net. Oh, here you go. That's a nice one. You always got get him. really nervous until you get the net on Exactly, them. especially when they're big slabs. You need to get Ooh. that net ready. I might be putting white on Kramer. It's picking up a little bit. There you go. Good job, Sarah. That's a nice. Beast. I got my bait mate crappie on there. And you do. Maybe that was my... Uh, well, is that what changer, you're doing? Why are you changer. always holding out on the bait mate on me? Yeah, just to the left of my freaking oh, bait. No. There you go. Good job, nice. Sarah. Nice work. That's a perfect eater. That's a decent one. Yeah. You want the net or you got them? Oh, I got it. What color you got on? White? Yeah. Not a huge producer today, but. Oh, yeah. Right. That's a good one. They're all nice in here. They're just starting to, it's Ooh. been cold up here. It's been a cold spring. They're just starting to work their way up here. This is about as pre-spawn as you can get because they're coming up and they're just cruising the shoreline. What makes this shoreline really good right now is you got sun penetration, but the other cool thing is you got wind. So that's helping us stay a little more camoed up here. That wind breaks us up a little bit. So it's a little easier for us to fish this really skinny water. But I'm telling you right now, Eric, with that wind, the length of the rod's helping us and they can cast, they're, they're whippy enough at the tip to cast yep. these, we're using 164 ounce jig heads, yep. but there's enough backbone down here for hook sets. Yep. And once I, get, you, I mean, once you get hooks in one of these crappies out there, it's pretty much, he's pretty much stapled on there, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. The length really helps with fighting them. But I get a lot of customers now who ask, so, I mean, and, and there's nothing wrong with it, but for this technique anyways, yeah. that longer ultralight, I still get a lot of customers who only want like a six foot ultralight or something, you know? Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with those depending on what you're doing. But for this technique where you want to cast these little micro lures out, yeah. you, you, that seven footer is just the answer for sure. And the thing is, is that we're seeing most of these crappies. We know they're there. Yeah. So, and so staying away from them is yep. the utmost importance and having that length is number one thing. I mean, that's, yep. you can't do what we're doing with five foot ultralights. No, you can't. Five and a half foot ultralight. You can't. Ca you wouldn't be able to cast half as far. Yeah. Sun's out. What's one thing you always use when you're in a boat? When it's sunny, sunscreen. Sunscreen gets on your hands. It gets really greasy. Tough to handle your fishing rod. These little things right here, they're called camp soaps. They're made by Coleman Products. All you do is just get them wet and then wash them off on your hands. They're really cool. So take them and stick them in the water. Yep. Yeah? And then rub them together. Mm. And that cleans that right off of there. And you get all that slippery stuff off there. You clean your hands good for if you guys want to have short Maybe lunch. I should use one. I just put bug spray on. You just put bug spray on? That'll work too. But those little camp sheets that are really cool. stuff's awesome. Yeah. Really neat. Really neat. Yeah. Another dandy. Yes, 
Ooh, he's a jumper. This is a little risky business with that small hook, lifting him up like this. I got four pound suffix mono on there. That's what Sarah's using too. But again, that wacky rig, it's almost, what do you got, hon? Gil? Yep. Almost undeniable for those fish. They almost can't say, they can. They basically can't say no. Once they see that dangle, it just tantalizes them enough. It's a good crappie. Put him back in there. Oh, he's got him. Eric, do you That's see a my bass? I gotta drop the talon down for this guy. That is a beast. What do you got, Sarah? Nothing. Can you get him, Eric? Nice. Yep, got him, bud. Look at that. There's another big oh, one. Right? Oh, oh. There's another big one? That's another toy. Oh, we found a pot here. I'm gonna get, get this him, guy Sarah. in that. Sarah's gonna take, take one here. Look at this, this fish, guys. Swimming away. Oop. Dumped him in the net there. There we go, look at that. Oh, wow, man, that's a big fish. That is a big fish. And I'm telling you what, Eric, the length of these rods, you can see it's pretty breezy out here. We got some wind. It's helping me big time get that lure right in front of their face. Yep, yep. We're not fishing deep water, so you don't have a lot of time to catch the fish. So nope. precision casts are important. That is yeah, another Yeah, getting a little property. distance on the cast. Yeah, just exactly, that helps. To get it away from the bull. Is that a nice fish or what? I'll tell you what, that's a slab right there. We're gonna put him back though, I think. We're, We're gonna, gonna put him back. Are you gonna measure it? It's probably a girl. Oh, that fish is 13, all of 13, huh? Look I that. think so. Dandy. Dump him back in. Ah, see you, bud. So what we did here is we moved a We all wanted bit. to be as close together yeah, as possible. Yeah, we, we tried to get, if we get close enough together, we catch more crappies. So that's what we're doing right now is we're huddling up in front of the boat. But we moved to a new chunk of shoreline that's got a lot of wood on it. And the other really nice thing about when you get this first big warm up of spring, you get to see what the lake has to offer. I mean, we've seen northerns, we've seen bass, we've seen big pumpkin seeds, we've seen bluegills. Is that a, is that a crappie just, that just followed me out? Kind of learn what's it? in the lake. And right now we're learning that there's some really nice crappies in this one. Just out. I'm. There you go. Here we go. Big one. Big one. Nice. You pull them out of the wood, guy. Tyler, you got the net. Yeah, net's coming. Hurry. I'm trying. I gotta get my rod in. That is a dandy. Swing him in here, guy. There you go. Nice. Yes. Nice. It's a slabber. Yeah. That is a good fish. Oh. Another thing, we're using really bright colors too, so we can see them when they hit it. Are you gonna grab him or? I'm trying. <laughs> making a fool out of him. They got some power. This one does. The bright colors help us be able to see them come up and slap it. Now, there we go. That's why we're using. I got Sarah's using white, and I got chartreuse, and Eric's using chartreuse too. That's but that beauty. that is a dandy, nice fish, buddy. Take him. Yeah. Got him out of that wood. I was able to reach that wood over there. It's a little bit of a cast, but he's sitting in there. So one of the nice things about the the lakes up here is there's quite a healthy there he is. population of panfish. Yeah, like this guy here. You speak of the devil, hon. That's the thing up here. These lakes up in northern Wisconsin, if there's a lot of weeds, there's gonna be lots of crappies. I almost needed the net for that one. Maybe I should have next oh. time, I think. So yeah, well, that's kind of what we keyed on. It's been about three really nice days in a row. And we kind of figured that the fish are gonna start to move in. And this lake is shallow, it's weedy, really good panfish lake, a lot of organic bottoms. That's why you can see a lot of this place is, it's all dark bottom. And that warms up really fast till those crappies and panfish will suck up in here really quick. So it doesn't take much to get this water temp in the upper 50s, 60s. So at 64 right now, when we got here it was 60, so it went up four degrees. There you go, he's looking. Sarah! Nice. Saw that one come up and whack it, got excited. That's a dandy. Yeah, remember. You want a net? No. 
That thing sucked that thing down. Remember, don't listen to your boat partner. You work on feel, not him, his eyesight. Wow. She, I, <laughs> I'm guessing she's missed a couple before because of me. <laughs> That's a good fish. These crappies are moving up. We're catching them under docks. We're getting them on, right now we're on a big sand flat. We're getting them in wood. And the big thing is any type of bulrush, that's kind of the big, that's the big weed that they're hanging out. If you get a bulrush, kind of a little bit bulrush bed or even lily pad stumps, I like to call them, but the roots of the lily pads, they come up in there and anytime you got a little shade, even that's why the logs are good and the overhang of the bulrush, that, that holds all these fish and they come in there and that's, Kramer just, I just missed yeah, one. I just missed yeah, one. I did. So that's what we're looking for, and that's where these fish are holding right now. There we go. Got him. Got him in the back. This is a nice one too. Wow. Got him in the bull rush here. You want the net? Um, maybe. I, I think I can get him, hunt. Well. Yeah, since you're there, throw him in there. Oh. Whoa. Nice. The net extended for me. Jeez. That right there is a good crappie. What's that going on? That's a Look beauty. That thing. Jeez. That's another one. That is a beast. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the town real quick right here since we caught that one. There's probably several more. But yeah, that's a nice fish. I want to show you real quick how we're rigging these wacky, how we're rigging these wacky minnows on there. That is a really good fish. Let's put him back. Drop him in there. See you later, bud. It's important to throw back the big ones too. I mean, those are the females that are laying lots of eggs, but let's take a quick look here. We're talking about what I do, how we rig these. You can see I got a really small jig. That's a 164th ounce. I take the power minnow, and the key is to put it about as exact in the middle as possible. So you go in just like this, kind of find the halfway point. And I like to put it at the top of the minnow a little more, because what that does is that allows more water to push up on it as it sinks, so it sinks a lot slower. So that's all you gotta do. Put it in there if you put it too close to the front you won't get the the jiggle as much it won't jiggle as much it'll be more rigid so like if you say you put it here when you twitch it it's going to pull it more you're not going to get that vibration from the tail and the head so go as much as you can in the middle towards the top poker through and you're going to catch some huge crappies it'll surprise you yeah you got this one drop it right down in there <laughs> oh, Perfect. nice. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. You want the lift or the net or the lift? No, want me to grab the net? No, I got him. Sarah okay. likes to do things herself. I've tried many times trying to get the net. Ooh. Hasn't cost her one yet, though. Nope. nope. Ooh, dubs. One. We got dubs here. Mm -hmm. Nice. Dubs on the crops, but Sarah's is a lot bigger than mine. Is it? Well, mine isn't huge. Yeah. But he come up and smoked it. But, ooh, there's a couple more sitting right here. I know, here, you guy. can see them. This is. Yeah. Fun. I love. It feels like I, I kind of feel left out. Do you? Not no idea. Or Cast there. right here. <laughs> is there some crappies over there? Yeah, right in front of me. There's one right there. See if we can get oh. a trips. Got him. That a boy. Decent too. Look at that fish. Kramer just missed one. We got a nice little pot of them working here. I'm gonna back up and see if we can yeah, get some dubs here. One thing that we're that we're doing here also, we talk about boat control a lot as well, but. Every species and every technique that you that you use, got them. We got, got double dubs. Nice. Every technique and species that you fish, boat control is very very important. And what we got going here, swing him in there, Eric. And Try. What we're using He's is, hooked right in the corner. We're using the talon for this. We're marking fish, and oh, Sarah's in the back. Right. And she's hitting the talon down, and that's keeping us in one spot. And all I have to do is mess with my trolling motor, Tad. Turn around this way, guy, with that uh, fish. I will. I'll get him unhooked. And all we're doing is using the troll motor to back us up and or pull us a little closer, back us up. And we're, look at this, we're catching big <laughs> slabs. That's awesome. I love it. Back to backers. Sarah, get one and get a triple in here. Let's go. <laughs> She's back there, man in the talons, so we'll give her a break. But that's perfect. Boat control is the name of the game. Having the right, the right positioning for the fish, especially the wind, is important. Got him. There it is. Oh, good nice. job, Sarah. Oh, Get him out of there. Get him out of the bull rush. Whoa. It's <laughs> a pretty one. Nice work. He came up and just walloped it. They're hungry. You were twitching that one a little faster. Yeah. A little uh, top water. Jeez. Top water crappie in? Yeah. <laughs> Crappies on top. Crappies on top. Hey, when they're hungry, they're hungry. I know. The other thing that you need to have to do this, 
good set of polarized glasses. Yes. You gotta be able to see these things. So and when you're in the shallows, those crappies, they almost look neon kind of. I like to say chartreuse on the back. They have a different color to them in the water than say a bass or a bluegill. So you can kind of, once you figure out what they look like, you see the first couple, then you can start spotting them a lot easier. So having a good pair of shades helps. Got him. Got a girl. That's a beast. Oh my goodness. That's a good one, hon. You oh, got him, Kramer? That's a tanker. Yeah. That's a giant. There we go. We disturbed the bottom with the yeah. motor and he was waiting. What do you think of that one, to Sarah? Stalk Holy it. Cow. Dude. <laughs> Beast. That is a toad. Oh wow, he's not happy. Oh, my my God. God. Woo! Whoa, keep him over the yeah. net there. That could have been a bad deal. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. And inhaled it. Oh my goodness. Nice. Look at that. Really nice. That's a I like it. That's a beaut. Well, what do you think? We had a great day. Yeah, I think uh, I think this might be Make my personal best crappie. Yeah, that's a that's a dandy. That might that's be a, a big PB. one. I think it is. This is a. It's a big fish. Eric, your rods. I can't say enough about. Took it, it to him. It's unbelievable. When you you're caught catching, a lot of fish look today. Look at that fish, Sarah. That is a donkey. Look at that fish. Unbelievable day. That's our third or fourth one. That's pushing the 14 inch mark. Yeah, you know? it's been amazing. It has been. Eric, thanks a lot, buddy. Your rods again. You bet, man. Unreal. Glad to put them to the test. Nice fish, hon. Love it. Perfect way to end the day. Yeah. Everybody, thanks for watching Sportsman Journal. We'll see you next week. Let's get that fish back in there. For more information on how to build your own Kramer Custom Rod, contact Eric at KramerCustomRods.com. Can't get enough of the Sportsman's Journal? Follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Also check out our website, sportsmansjournaltv.com.